What's going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. So before we even get to the good stuff of teaching you how to edit video like a pro, I want to mention this. If you're watching these videos on YouTube, make sure you're watching in full screen 1080 high def because if you try watching it on the little YouTube player, it's not going to work. So again, make sure you're watching full screen and change your video settings to 1080 and everything is going to be crystal clear just like you're looking at your own desktop. So anyways, before I jump into the program and open it and start slicing up some videos, I want to tell you guys this. For those of you who don't even know what Premiere Pro is, sometimes people click my videos just because they're bored at work or school or something. I better mention this. Premiere Pro is a piece of software that's used to edit video and it's one of the best video editing programs out there. I absolutely love it. It's probably my favorite program on the computer. So what you can do is whenever you go around and shoot some film with your handy cam that you got from Best Buy, it's pretty cool and you can use it as a home movie or what you could do is throw on your computer, edit the video, throw some titles on it, add some special effects, adjust the audio, and turn it into an awesome movie with this program. So another thing I want to mention is that I'm going to be using the version CS 5.5, but it really doesn't matter what version you have some things may be a little bit different if you're using an older version or if you're watching this video in a couple months and a newer version came out it's okay you're gonna be able to follow along with these tutorials just fine you may have a few more options in like one of the drop down menus for effects or something but generally you're gonna be able to follow along just fine so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy I'm gonna go ahead and assume you have it installed on your computer already or you probably wouldn't be watching this video so go ahead and hit the start all programs and either under Adobe or production premium it really depends if you bought the whole package or just Premiere Pro mine is under production premium and look for a program called Premiere Pro whatever version of it you have now you can go ahead and click this and it's gonna open it or since we're gonna be working with it a lot go ahead and right click it and hit send to desktop and what that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice pretty little icon on your desktop so go ahead and double click that and now this bad boy starts opening up so the very first screen we get is pretty much it says welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro it's where we have to decide do we want to open a project we already been working on or start an entirely new project and since we probably or at least I think that you guys never started a project before it's probably a good idea to start from here so new project and now it asks us for even more stuff the first thing I want to mention is this tab over here scratch this don't ever touch this Adobe is a really smart company and they already set up where they're gonna store all of your files and they set it up really good so don't even worry about this another thing that's pretty cool is all this stuff 90% of it is set up for you. Video rendering, video, and audio, they already selected what's best for you. This is like the industry standard stuff. Unless you're shooting with a really weird, I don't know, slow motion camera or something, you don't want to change any of this. The only thing that you need to worry about is this crap down here. The capture depends on what camcorder you use to shoot the footage. It's either going to be regular digital video or high def video, which is a litter little better quality and if you don't know just go ahead and either go over to your camcorder and look if it says DV or HDV or on your box or the manual that your camcorder came with it's gonna say it on there but figure it out and you know select whatever one you want so I shot the footage that I'm gonna be working with in my tutorials with a high def camcorder so that's why I'm gonna select that and this is pretty much saying where do you want to store your project you know store it wherever you want and I'm gonna name this YouTube tuts or YouTube eh, I'll just name it YouTube you know just gonna wing it okay so go ahead and hit OK and now it asks us for even more crap OMG Premiere Pro come on give us a break but anyways pretty much you have a bunch of preset settings that you get to choose from now every camcorder is built a little bit differently in that maybe the size of the picture is a little bit different or how many images it takes per second is a little bit different what you need to do is you need to go through here and match up whatever preset you have with whatever your camcorder has and again I can't say do this or do the other because it really depends on what kind of camcorder you were filming with but for my camcorder I'm filming with the HDV 
1080, which is the size of the frame, and 30 right here, this is the frame rate, pretty much how many pictures per second this camera has taken. So that's my setting, and I guess I might as well mention these other tabs too. You're probably never going to use this, but if you have a really weird camcorder, like 99% of the time, don't even worry about this, but if you have a really weird camcorder and you want to give it custom settings, then there you go. In tracks, we can go ahead and change this whenever we're editing, so they shouldn't have even put that tab there. So pretty much, go ahead and find your camcorder settings by looking at the manual or whatever and select what one you need. So go ahead and just keep sequence one for all of your projects. It'll work fine and hit OK. So now you hit OK and it goes ahead and wow, look at all this crap right here. A bunch of menus and tabs and panels. What the heck is going on? Well, it can be very overwhelming at first. So what we're going to do in the next tutorial is go over the entire workspace. Actually, I'm not going to have time. I lied. In the next tutorial, we're not going to be going over the entire workspace, but we're going to be picking it apart and I'm going to be giving you guys a better idea of what all this crap is and what all these buttons and widgets do. So that's what you have to look forward to in the next tutorial, but for now, go ahead and get your project set up and make sure that you go ahead and save it and you should be good to go. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.